And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal. And today, pedal board show. My name is Gabor, and today I'm looking at this. Now, this is a pedal board um, I threw together. I don't know a few months ago now. Um, Alex and I did a, a, a pedal night at uh, the local music shop here, Music at Noosa. Uh, they wanted to do a pedal night, and we thought, as what we do as part of the pedal night, is we were going to showcase a whole bunch of Australian-made stuff. So all the pedals on here are Australian-made pedals. Uh, and Alex has got a board as well, and we'll do, I guess, a separate video on that at some stage uh, where we showcase the board that I built for Alex. I, bu I built both of them. He doesn't do that sort of stuff. He's lazy. Um, so I put these boards together, um, and I thought, uh, you know, I just quickly did it and quickly used whatever cables, patch cables I have. And then not long after, uh, the good people at Peerless Music uh, contacted me, uh, Peg and Steve. Hi, Peg and Steve. Uh, and they said... We want to uh, get you guys together with these people called Tour Gear Design, who do these sort of super small ends. In it. Okay. These sort of very small ends um, patch cables. Uh, and not only do they do patch cables with these very small ends, but they also do, and I, I don't think I've ever heard of anyone else do this, uh, they do what's called orientations. So they do a C and an S. So see how the ends, these two face that way, these two, I'll do, let's do it here. Um, <laughs> um, that's a C and that's, why do I keep dropping these? And that's an S. <laughs> so see how the, the ends point in a different direction? So, which is when you put them in between pedals, so you don't have to twist them because apparently when you twist them, that's when a lot of damage gets done and that's when a lot of wear and tear and uh, longevity in the pedals kind of goes away, or not pedals, in the patch cables goes away. So what I thought of doing today is uh, getting all these patch cables onto here, uh, so I roughly measured it so they all kind of sort of fit. Uh, so I thought, let's do that. Uh, and you guys can watch me do that. And then I'll run you through the pedal board quickly. So let's get into this. So first off, the packaging is pretty cool. I think I will need scissors because they all have these little zip ties. Ooh, I'm oh, this cable has been inspected. HN on the 15th of the 8th, 2023, uh, or 8.15. We kind of do those two the other way around. That's an American thing, the 8.15. But yes, uh, uh, um, the 15th of August, 2023. That's pretty cool. And there's the cable. I mean, it's a nice flexible cable. Oh, yeah, don't twist it. because So this is a C-shaped cable. So I guess this is where you would have two pedals that are next to each other, like that. Whereas this one... So here we've got the S shape and the C shape. Uh, I think round, oh, maybe one's a bit longer than the other one. Uh, okay, well, let's get them all out and then plug them all in. Okay, so here are all the cables now. Uh, now, there are some shorter ones, there are some longer ones. Oh, here's also a TRS one. Let's see with the second thing, uh, which is for this. So, okay, so let's let's just quickly run through it. Should also mention uh, the pedal board is a K-line pedal board. Uh, what is it? CB, I forgot. CB108. It's a K-line CB108 pedal board. So all the pedals, uh, except for the Virtual Jeff, are being powered by it because this needs um, higher voltage. So this has got its own power supply, but all the other pedals are being powered by the power that comes provided by this pedal board. It's a pretty cool little pedal board actually, and this was sent to us by Kaline too, just so you know. Okay, so let's now check this out and let's see if I can plug this in and if we can find the cables that are the right length. So we need the first cable from here. We need an S-shaped cable because we're going, so the, the signal sh chain goes, it goes into the Jaffa, then out of the Jaffa into um, the virtual Jeff out of the virtual Jeff into the THD, I'm pretty sure. Out of the THD into the Doomfuzz. Doomfuzz into the um, Russian Plague by Kink. From the Russian Plague, it goes to the Punky Fryer. From the Punky Fryer, it goes to the Beautiful Noise When the Sun Explodes, then the Love Beams, then the Chorus Ensemble, and then the Stereo Panning 
Optical Tremolo by Dazzatronics. I'm pretty sure that's the order. We'll find out in a second anyway. So what we need now is we need to find cables because I kind of measured them that are long enough for this. So we need an, um, if I did it right, we need, <laughs> we need, an, here we go. This, this is probably it. Yeah, this is an S-shaped cable. <clears throat> oh, now we got to oh, do this. I always hate doing this, but you've got to do it. Now, let's get rid of those. Let's put them on the floor behind me. Uh, plug it in. Now, they are quite little. I do quite like the ends. They're quite little. Um, and I do like it's It's black. It sort of blends in. Um, I like. Should I make this just to be a pain in the butt? Should I make this go underneath here? Is it going to be long enough? No, it's not quite long enough, but that's just me being pedantic. I just put it up here. That's fine. So, first cable done. Second cable. Oh, okay. So now we need to... Let's do the TRS cable. So the TRS cable goes from here to here. So that now... Yeah. So that's the hold and blend function. Uh, so that's on there. That's on there. I have that off because... We sometimes use that in other videos with the guitar, um, like on its own with the, the guitar that has the tremble on it. You can watch a full video on a Virtual Jeff up here. Um, so I didn't want to attach that. I wanted that separate. Now, I unplugged that end of that cable already. <clears throat> now, let's see where, that, where does that go. So that go. Okay, so this is all plugged in now with two gear design pedals, pedals, patch cables. Uh, it looks good. It looks... Um, so you can, I like it. I have many OCD issues. Now, let's plug it in and give it a go and hopefully it works. So I've got now the cable coming. So this comes from a tuner on the desk, uh, which just the guitar is going to go into the tuner. And from here now, I've got stereo outputs. Um, where are we? Here. Because it's a stereo board. We've got to go in stereo. Is everything looking good? Is everything spaced out evenly? That could maybe go over a smidge. And that could maybe go up a smidge if that's possible. Yeah. Oh, the, my power cable's underneath it. Here we go. Look at that. We're looking good. Okay. Now, let's plug it in. Uh, first, I've got to turn the amps on. Um, now. All right, and I'm going to use for this just because this, so the idea behind this board, right, um, was uh, I wanted something that's sort of kind of a bit, I wanted two very different boards to, my, my board and, and Alex's board to be quite different. So Alex's board has got more normal drives on it and stuff like that. This is all fuzzes or kind of more quirky experimental sounds. That's sort of, I think, the... The kind of vibe I was going for with this. So I thought this would be a great guitar to use for that. This is um, Halberd, uh, my parts caster concierge body, uh, Robert Graves aluminium neck, uh, uh, THRD or third um, tailpiece by Robert Graves as well, mastery bridge, uh, and two amazing pickups uh, by Mr. Glenn's pickups. And the video for this pickup is up here and it's called the Drag, which is his Doom pickup. Now, let's see if we get signal, hopefully. Um, all the cables work, that's a start. Okay, so signal chain, we're going from the guitar. Uh, d d don't worry about the extra pickups and stuff for now, we'll, we'll get into all that, but we're going from the guitar into the Peterson Strobus Top HC tuner, which is always my, my desk, via that cable into the Jaffa, then in the effects chain we did. So it's, Jaffa into this, into the THD, into the Double Doom, into the Russian Plague, into the Punky Fryer, into the Beautiful Noise When the Sun Explodes, into the Love Beams, into the Chorus Ensemble, and into the Spot, Stereo Panning Optical Tremolo. And then from there in stereo, now I have no idea which one's which, but one side goes into the Rev D20, the other side goes into the Mostronics Amp Switcher, and then to the Marshall Origin, which is down here, Origin 50, and then to the uh, two notes uh, torpedo live. Uh, and then from there straight, both sides go straight in the logic. And one is hard pen left, one is hard pen right. I might write it on the screen so you know which one's which, but that's basically what that is. 
Um, now, both the D20, so the D20 has got a direct output in the back. There's a video for the D20 up here that you can watch. So I'm using, using the two nodes direct output in the back from that, uh, and the other two nodes is on the other side. And they both use these IRs, the same IRs. The Celestian IRs, uh, I like using it. It's a combination of a 4x12 and a 4x10 cabinet. Um, there's also a link down in the description below. Um, if you click on that link to go to Celestian, so if you go to Celestian via that link and buy any IRs, you don't have to buy the IRs I use, but any IRs, um, you will help out the show. Uh, okay, so that's the signal chain. And we're currently only on the drag pickup. And one of the reasons why I went stereo is because of this thing. And once I turn it on, you don't want to turn it off. So let's turn it on just to hear it. So this is now in glorious uh, chorus ensemble stereo. Now the amps are set relatively clean. Um, the, and this is one of the things, well, other things I actually quite like about it as well. The, uh, the input gain, the preamp basically, you can't turn it off. Even when the pedal is switched off, it's turned off. <laughs> There's a low setting, but I quite like it. Uh, so what, what I do is it sort of pushes the, the amps. So that's just a chorus ensemble and it's off too. <laughs> I like it on sort of there somewhere. And that stereo image is just lovely. That's just beautiful. That's that's why I, I thought let's go to that first because you're probably probably not going to want to switch it off. If you add the stereo panning optical tremolo to it, it So, so, let's, so let's go now from the start. So first up, we've got the Jaffa, which I think is an amazing fuzz. In glorious stereo. From there, I'm going into the um, Virtual Jeff, which uh, you can use it for the Virtual Capo, so I can drop tuners even more. But then you can also, uh, so let's sort of say, let's go down an octave. And then you can turn the blend switch on.
Uh, then from there it goes into Lazotronics THD, which I think is just absolutely awesome. <laughs> Send it off for a second. It's fuzzy, but a different flavor. From there we're going to the Double Doom Fuzz. Now that one I use in conjunction with other pedals. And the other side. Okay, we'll come back to that because I use that usually in conjunction with other pedals. Then we're going into the Russian Plague. I needed a rat. And a Russian Summer. But again, both of them together as well. Now, from there, uh, uh, what I often do is this, for example. when it gets loud whoops that wasn't even on um uh yeah the rat in conjunction with other things works beautifully so that's that's sort of that okay from there uh moving on to the punky fryer which is actually set to a very tame setting <laughs> again out with the rat If you want a bit of fuzziness, you can...
So when, in combinations, that's when you get some cool sounds. Okay, from there we're going now into the beautiful noise when the sun explodes. Beautiful reverb. With this is where you can add some boost to it. Turn the mix all the way down, you can just use this as a drive, which is quite a cool drive too. just doing silly stuff. So you can just give it lots of gain on its own. Uh, if you turn the, if you turn the mix down, but oh that's still on. Turn it up a little bit. You can you can um, create a feedback loop. You can kind of hold the reverb, and you can give it modulation and all that stuff too. Beautiful reverb, and then into the love beams, um, cosmic echo unit by Otis effect. which can be lots of different things depending on what you set it to. And this as well has so much gain in it, you can drive things. So that's just that again. Also said it's just clean.
Well, oh, that wasn't even on. And that's about it. I mean, that's a, I mean about it. That's sort of a look at the one of the two Australian made pedal boards. So you would have seen if you watched any of our videos with uh, I think some of the Vintera guitar videos and a um, couple of the um, Fender uh, no Squire Paranormal series videos. Uh, I used this board. Alex used his board, or some of them we used. Both used my board, this board, or some of us both used the other board. But anyway, um, this is my uh, all Australian board um, with all these lovely pedals on there uh, and these amazing new. Where did I put the box? Uh, oh, there's, there's more of these. They do also actually did do, um, I should mention this, they do insert cables as well. Uh, and I think they're one of the only people that do orientation on ins insert cable as well, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, Tool Gear Designs, uh, big thank you also to Peerless Music uh, for hooking me up with Tool Gear Designs. Uh, and big thank you to all the amazing Australian brands who are involved in this. Um, wait, the, the, the box is down there. Um, yeah, uh, awesome cables. Actually, awesome. The, the, the K Line board is excellent. That's a really, really good pedal board, the K Line pedal board that this is on. So, big thank you to K Line as well. Uh, big thank you to everyone involved in this amazing guitar. There'll be a full video with this guitar. This thing is, I mean, this is just a whole nother world, this thing, whole nother level. Uh, we can tune the. notes behind the bridge and all that sort of stuff so there'll be a full video on that as well once i get the time to do it but uh just thought i'd quickly do this big thank you to Turkey designs big thank you to peerless music big thank you to all you people for watching if you've come this far please make sure to subscribe um to the channel about 90 percent of all of you are not subscribed so it really does help if you subscribe uh, and on that note big thank you and see you in the next one